in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I did this makeup look using the Jeffree Star Thirsty eyeshadow palette. Um, I posted this look on my Instagram and I asked people to give it a thumbs up if they wanted to see a tutorial. I got a lot more thumbs up than I usually do in a short amount of time so yeah I decided that I'd film this tutorial. Um, if it's been ages since I posted that picture and then this is being uploaded. Um, at the moment my laptop is kaput, uh, broken, and I don't have anywhere that I can edit my video. So as soon as I can get a new laptop and the editing software and everything all up and running then I will get this up on my channel. So yeah. <laughs> um, if you guys want to see how I got this look uh, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids with my MAC Pink Pot, and this is Painterly. Um, as you can see, I've already put concealer like underneath my brows and in my crease, um, but for my actual lids, I want to use this Painterly Pink Pot, just a little bit darker. Blend the two of those together with my finger. I'm dipping into this bad boy. And the first thing I'm going to do is go in with the shade Parched. Using my Morphe M504 for that. I'm just going to take that through the crease and brow bone area. It's pretty much the same colour as my skin, so you won't be able to see it very well. But that'll just help the next shade blend a little bit better. Now I'm going to grab my Real Techniques um, shadow brush. It is clean, it's just stained. Um, and I'm going to go in with the shade Quench. I'm really going to pack that on the brush because this shade tends to fluff away a little bit. that in the crease. I'm not blending yet, I'm just packing. Let's go back with that big fluffy brush that I used first. I'm literally just going to touch that around the edges. Okay, happy with that. I'm going to go back in with that Real Techniques brush and the same shade Quench. Sorry, a bit breathless. Um, and I'm just going to slowly build up the colour in the crease. And again, I'm just going to switch back to that fluffy brush, nothing on it. And tickle the edges. Beautiful. Right. Now comes the fun part. Is the blue. Um, so I'm just using this I Love Makeup Unicorn Packing Brush. Um, or I Heart Makeup. This is um, a Makeup Revolution Tan Beauty thing. Um, and I'm gonna really, really pack that up with Submerge. That's a whole lot of eyeshadow there. And I'm going to pack that on the centre of my lid. Love it. Same thing on the other eye. God, I love this colour so much. So now that that's done, I'm going to dip into Splash, which is just next door, and same thing again, I'm really getting that product in my brush, just tapping it all around. I'm not being hard with it, I'm just tapping it a lot. And that's going right next to Submerge. Mm. 
again, going slightly above my crease. So I want that to be visible. When I've got my eyes open. It's time to cut my crease. Um, so I'm just using a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape and a Body Shop eyeshadow brush. Uh, it's literally just called eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to... Sorry, this takes a lot of concentration. I'm going to cut my crease. And I'll try and keep it on camera as much as So one of my tips for when you're cutting your crease is you want to look straight into a mirror so that you can sort of see um, where your eyelid crease is. And then I'm going slightly above mine. So I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye just to save you guys a little bit of boredom. Um, so I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I'm back. Um, now we're going to sort out this little gap here. Back in with the I Heart Makeup Unicorn brush and the shade Splash. And I'm just trying to pack that as tight to that crease line that I cut without, um, as I can without going over it. And I'm doing the same a little bit over here as well. So now I look like a crazy person, we're gonna get to the next step. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just knocking the eyeshadow off with my colour switch. I will clean this again later, but it's going to be stained, so what can you do? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop Divine, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous silver colour, all over the inner part of the crease. Um, right, so I'm not sure if it's just the eyeshadow base because last time I did this and I blended it with my finger, it blended beautifully. Um, but hey ho, you live and you learn. I used a different eye base this time. Um, so I'm just going to I'm just going to pop some more of Submerge. That area. And sort of pat it out against the silver with my finger. So I'm sort of laying it over the silver and then patting my finger over the top of it and it sort of blends it a little bit. Now we're getting into the sort of finishing touches for the shadow. Um. <laughs> So this is my favourite name in the palette, um, but I'm going to go in with the shade Bitch. Um, I'm saying not completely wrong, but... Anyway. So I'm packing that along the edge of my Morphe M505, just like so. So I'm hoping to get most of it on the tip. Just the tip. Um, and I'm going shadow side up so I don't get it in the silver. And I'm going to draw that alongside the silver. Um, 
you want it to sort of fade further in the inner corner. So next comes liner and I'm going to use my old faithful um, zero 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 sable paintbrush. Um, it's literally just from an arts and crafts store. And I am going to be using Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Coral F Fixation. So this came out with the Thirsty collection, uh, with the Thirsty palette, it's part of the summer collection for 2018. Whilst that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Again, I'm just going to do this off camera so you guys don't get bored. Um, but BRB, and hopefully when I come back, there'll be more layers, so this will be more vibrant. Okay. So this is the eyes, for the most part, finished. The only thing we need is uh, mascara and lashes but I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll get back to those just because I like to put setting spray on before I put mascara on um, so I need to do the rest of my makeup in order to do that. Okay, so we're almost there. Just need to do lipstick. The shade that I used in my picture was uh, Cherry Wet by Jeffree Star. Um, it's also from his summer collection this year. Um, and I absolutely love it. I'm a sucker for a good red anyway. Um, this is more like a coral pink um, sort of red. But anyway. guys in a little bit closer so that you can see and I'm not gonna do a montage because I feel like everyone's kind of over that but yeah this is the funny look the funny look <laughs> this is the final look um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you're all having a lovely day um, please don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it, uh, give it a thumbs up for more and if you're not already do subscribe to my channel because that way you won't miss videos when I do post them. Um, I don't really have like a set upload schedule, I just sort of upload videos as and when I can. Um, for any of you that are wondering, the reason behind that is that basically um, I have a lot going on in my life. Um, I'm ill a lot of the time so I don't always feel up to filming a video and then when I do um, it takes me a while to edit it so yeah I try my best to sort of upload weekly monthly that sort of thing um, but I know I'm, I'm not gonna guarantee that I will upload again next week or next month because at the end of the day life is unpredictable um, and I don't want to promise something that I'm not sticking to. That being said, I do really love filming videos, so I will always film a video when I'm up to it, and I'll always post a video as soon as I've got it finished. Um, it's just that, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to film and when I'm going to be able to edit and stuff like that, because my health is not the best. So, anyhow, if you hit the subscribe button and you also press the notification bell, that way you will be notified when I do upload and then you won't miss my videos. Um, so yeah, if you fancy it, do that, but you don't feel like you have to. And I guess without further ado, I shall say goodbye and I'll see you guys next time.